All right, folks, it is Sunday. I'm trying fishing again. I didn't start till 3.30. It was real cold and cloudy today, and the sun finally came out about an hour ago at 2.30, so I decided I would try a little bit in the afternoon. Yesterday was really horrible. Um, right now, I'm giving up on crop because the weather is just unstable from day to day. You really need about three warm days in a row with also warm nights. I'm dealing with the wind again today, but it's not as bad, not as gusty, but it is coming from all directions. Um, so I decided I'm just going to fish for spotted bass. Next weekend I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to crappie fish in Lake Wapapella with a trolley motor. I'm going to actually find a good cove in the main lake. And I'm also going to try snagging for spoonbill for the second time in my life. Uh, I'm going to go all out. I'm going to have somebody teach me how to do it and maybe bring them along and see if I can get a spoonbill. All right, let's see if I can find a spot here. I'm trying for the big boys today, folks. Look at that. White and chartreuse, gold and silver blade. <clears throat> I had several bumps on that retrieve. This may have been too small to hook, but it'll eventually be a bigger fish. There he is. Oh, there he was. Yeah, it might be a small one just pecking at it. At least he's trying. Alright, first fish folks, and it's a big one. First cast on the big spinner bait in this hole. Oh my lord. Oh yeah. I don't know what this is. If it's a bass, it's a big one. Oh, I think it's a small mouth. Oh no, don't get me hung up like that one fish did, boy. Oh boy, he's trying, isn't he? Oh, it is, it's a big small mouth. He's about 18 or 19 inches. Wow. Folks, this is a monster smallmouth for the state of Missouri right here. He's 18 inches. Wow. I, I just tried the hole below the bridge. No success. Walked here. It was my second cast, actually. Second cast. That big smallmouth crushed it. This is the first smallmouth of the year, really, right here. Oh boy, he is not a small one. I will, I will say that he's a, that's a, a master angler size smallmouth for the state of Missouri, folks. Wow. Oh boy, wowzers. And very fortunately, but I didn't bring my bucket. I am three miles west or th i'm sorry three miles east and five miles south of the border where you can actually keep them from february 28th to memorial weekend i am just literally three miles away below what's considered the ozark streams line folks got him on a Half ounce chartreuse and white spinner bait. That is a beautiful smallmouth right there. Let's get a good look at him. I don't feel like measuring it, but I can tell you right now he's 18 inches. That is a big smallmouth from Missouri right there. Something is wrong with his fin. It's like it never grew fully on the top. It's got a really short dorsal fin. It should stick up way more than that right here. Wow. Well, she'll get to see it because it's on film. That is a nice small mouth right there. That's the biggest one I've caught in a while. In probably two years. That's a, like I said before, that is a master angler small mouth right there. In Tennessee, I catch them like this every day. It wouldn't be no big deal. But here, they're few and far between unless you go to Bull Shoals Lake or Table Rock. That is a nice small folks we're gonna put her back because there ain't a whole lot of them in this river not down this far anyway 
Wow. It made my, that made my whole day and I haven't even been here very long. That made the whole trip worth it. Wow. Goodbye, buddy. Or last week when I was down here, I didn't get a single smallmouth. It was all spotted bass. Normally, I do not get smallmouth in this stream down this far. Now, about 20 miles north of here, up river from here, yes. Very common there. But down here, this is right where it exits the, the foothills, the very last hills of the Mark Twain Forest and enters the boot hill. Uh, this is the last, in fact, this is the last few very couple holes. And then it turns into a ditch. So, it's just, a, you know, like I said, it's kind of rare that he's even in here. Got one. There we go. <clears throat> yes. Another big one. Please be a small mouth. Please be a small mouth again. The odds are it's just a spot, but it's a spot, but it's a decent one. I'm glad I can horse these a little more because since I got 10 pound line this time, a decent spotted bass right here. Big as the ones I was getting the other day. Decent. folks that's two nice fish it is 10 after four got about two hours a little over two hours probably quit about 6 30. it's a nice spotted bass that's what i'm trying that's why i'm using this big spinner bait is i'm trying to keep the little guys off and get the bigger ones and as you see it's working both the fish i caught are a decent size instead of them little 10 inches so far all right, let's put her back. And I got him and I don't. Did have. All right, I got to make another cast over there. There he is. Oh yeah, he, he came back for it, oh yeah, nice bass, that's number three, in a half hour of fishing, alright, oh boy, a little smaller guy, he's about 12. Not bad. A lot of fun. I haven't done full size spinner bait fishing in quite a while. It can be very fun though. I like how you have a lot of control over the bait. You can slow roll it. You can zip it really fast. You can let it fall all the way to the bottom and then move it up and down barrier speed during the retrieve uh, there's so many things so many different ways you can fish it and I got one yes four fish folks in a matter of a half an hour Oh yeah, boy, a big old prego. Wow, that's a dark, that's a dark bass there. Oh yeah, wow. All right, fish number four, another 12, 13 incher. Obviously, full of eggs. All right, let's put her back so she can get bigger. Six on here. 
five or six, I can't remember. I think it's six from that same tree, but I just came to the other side because there was a couple feet here, about 10 feet I couldn't fish from that other side. So, <laughs> oh boy, first cast over here. That was the car I was standing on earlier. I just came to the other end of this hole. Sure enough, another spinnerbait bass, folks. All right, not huge. There's another one. This one's only about 11 inches. Oh, it'd be nice to get another one of those Mondo Smallies. Seven on. Unfortunately, I finally lost that spinnerbait on a log where I couldn't go out and get it. I had to switch. Luckily, I got 20 of them in a box. And it's pretty much identical. It's half white, half chartreuse. This one is a little lighter. I think this may only be three eighths of an ounce, or it may be even a quarter ounce. It's a, pretty much the same though. One big gold blade and one silver blade. Same colors, different brand. This is a Terminator. The last one was a Bass Pro Shop. All right, fish number seven. Another 12 inch. Or this is a true largemouth, not a spotted bass. Number eight. This is a little bigger one. Oh, he's really fighting whatever this is. Oh, he's going in circles. Wow. Oh, because I got him kind of foul hook there. Spinnerbait is on the side of his cheek. Oh, and he's bleeding bad. I hooked him in the gill plate. He must have swatted at it and it snagged him. Huh. Strange. Oh, wow, he is hooked, but really, oh my goodness, it hooked backwards through the gills, right through the cranberries. Oh, boy, he'll be all right, I think. Oh, I don't know. I'm lucky if he makes it. It's fish number eight, folks, another 13 spotted bass this time. Number nine, another spotted, another, he's about 13. Not big, but not bad. All right, folks, put her back, another spotted mass. First cast at the hole I caught the catfish on last week. was 10. There he is. Oh. Yep, he's back on. <clears throat> he got off and then got back on. This is a real large mouth too. No, it ain't. It's a spot. Oh my goodness, folks. I think that's 10 or 11. Goodness, it's almost impossible to get him up without... I'm going to have to lean in to grab him. Yeah, screw it. All right, folks. Uh, that's the, probably the biggest spot today right here. The biggest one of the day, besides the smallmouth. All right, two casts, two fish. Both on the half-ounce spinnerbait again. My goodness. And I was going to stay home. I was really going to stay home. And I changed my mind. glad I decided to make the trip. You ain't gonna catch fish sitting at home. That's one thing for, is for sure. You won't catch them sitting at home. All right, fish number 11. Oh boy. Fish number 11. I'm doing just about as good as I did last week. Actually, most of them are, tend to be bigger, and 
oh wow this is a hoss and being that I caught that big small mouth it did actually make a better day of course I got that channel cat last week oh, as the evening progressed I've been having to slow roll my spinner bait a lot more I let it fall all the way to the bottom and I just drag it real slow because they quit biting where I was reeling it in fast so remember that as a note guys sometimes you have to adapt throughout the day that's especially true with crappie fishing there's days where you start crappie fishing and you're catching all of them feet fish about four feet down and then an hour later they're six feet down or eight feet down just because one thing is working when you first get there doesn't mean that it's going to continue to catch fish the whole day the same way you have to figure out the pattern and sometimes you have to change that pattern because they will change on you I'm, I'm reeling this in about half the speed that I was earlier when I first got here that's how big of a difference it is and I'm letting it go all the way to the bottom so it's a matter of time I get hung up probably but if that's what I got to do to catch fish then I'm all for it Is 13. Fish number 13. There we go. Fish 15, guys. It's a small one this time. My smallest one of the day. All right. Little guy. 